Hello everybody, I'm here to talk about the first two steps of the design recipe, the signature, and the purpose statement. Let's start with the signature. The signature is a comment above your function and it typically comes in this form. It has your function name, a colon, and then the input types, an arrow, and then the output types. These types describe what inputs the function takes, which can be multiple inputs, all separated by spaces, and then a, a single output type. These data types must be capitalized. Let's move on to the purpose statement. The purpose statement is usually a single line comment after your signature that describes in regular vocabulary what the function does. So, for example, if you were to write a purpose statement for addition, you could say that it returns the result of adding the two given numbers. We typically like to start our purpose statements with the word returns. Now let's go over some examples. Let's say we were asked to design a function that given a string and a number, returns whether or not the string length is equal to the number. It's quite obvious what this function should take, a string and a number, but what should the output type be? It would be really convenient if the function would return true if the string length and number were equal and false otherwise. So a boolean seems like the perfect output type. So let's write the signature. Let's just call this function string length, huh? A colon. We know it takes a string and a number and outputs a boolean. Now let's move on to the purpose statement. The purpose statement is not restating the question asked, but instead it's describing the function in our own words. So if we start with returns, we know that this function returns true if the string length and the number are equal. So we can write just that. So we can write returns true if the given string length and number are equal. Now let's analyze a function and try and determine the signature and purpose statement. We can see that this function takes something and adds two to it. So we'd better hope that this something would be a number, otherwise we could have lots of errors. And since it adds two to this number, we know it also outputs a number. So our signature would be plus two takes a number and outputs another number. Now what about the purpose statement? We know that this function takes a number and outputs a number, but what does it change about this number? Well, it adds two to it. So we could just say that this function returns the given number with two added. The signature and the purpose statement are the first two steps of the design recipe. They are extremely important for thinking about what your function is going to take in and output and ensuring that any operations you use on your inputs will be valid and not cause errors. Thank you so much and until next time.